Prophet وسلم, said, every man, every human has a devil that is assigned to that individual. And that devil is forever attached with each individual. And this is, these are very clear and authentic hadith. When the Prophet ﷺ mentioned this, the Sahaba anhum said, Even you, Ya Rasulullah. And he said, Yes, even me. But the devil who is with me has submitted. So the Qareen who is with the Anbiya والسلام, the Qareen who is with the, um, the Prophets of Allah والسلام, they have submitted. But apart from them, every other human being. In fact, on one occasion, Umm al-Mu'mineen Aisha anha says that the Prophet وسلم, left my house at night. So I felt jealous. When the Prophet وسلم, returned, he saw the signs of jealousy on her. So he, and he sensed them. So he said to her, oh Aisha, did you feel pangs of jealousy after me? And she said, yes. So he said to her, oh Aisha, did your shaitan come to you? He said, your shaitan. Did your shaitan come to you? So Umm al-Mu'mineen Aisha radiyallahu anha said, Ya Rasulullah, is there a shaitan with me? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there is a shaitan with every human being. So Umm al-Mu'mineen Aisha radiyallahu anha said, even with you, Ya Rasulullah, he said, yes, even with me, but again, for Aslam, he has submitted. So apart from the Anbiya alayhi wa wasalam, every human being has a shaitan and a qareen. And that's clearly mentioned in the Quran, qareen, uh, where Allah says, we have assigned to them companions. And in many clear, authentic, categorical hadith, uh, it's mentioned that every insan, man or woman, man and woman, has a qareen, a shaitan who is with them. In a very beautiful hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu and he says, that every human being has one angel and one shaitan with him. The angel has a touch and the shaitan has a touch. And the touch of the angel is that he inspires and motivates the individual to do good and keeps him away from evil. And the touch of the devil, the individual devil with every one of us, is that that person incites people to evil and keeps them distant and away from good. So, the meaning of bin Shar al Waswas al Khannash from the evil of the retreating whisperer is that this shaitan who is with every one of us, what they do is they constantly attack the person, in, inciting them to committing evil, preventing them from good, inciting them to committing evil, whispering evil thoughts, encouraging them, instigating them, and they seem to gain a hold over the heart and mind of the individual. And at the same time, the angel tries to influence them. But depending on the individual's circumstances and their own inclination, this constantly raging battle between the angel and the devil attached to each person this battle sways in one direction or the other, depending on the individual's own circumstances and their inclination. And one way of releasing or loosening the hold of shaitan over a person's heart and mind is through the remembrance of Allah. In a hadith, as I said, the Prophet wasallam says that shaitan, i.e. each individual shaitan with a person, sits on the heart of man, i.e. grips it. When that person remembers Allah khanas, that shaitan withdraws and retreats. So with the remembrance of Allah, the shaitan retreats. But as soon as a person ceases to remember Allah, then shaitan retreats.